Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Huber. In this video, we are going to be talking about Lubricle Black, the newest lubricant from the cubicle.us. This is a core lube, um, and as you can see, it is purely black, and it actually stains your hands, uh, which is why they've included some materials here. So there's some rubber gloves and some paper towels, and it looks like there's some Lubical 1, uh, because based on the chemistry of the way Lubical Black works, the only way you can wash it off if it does get on your hands is with Lubical 1, uh, and that just has to do with the chemistry of it all, that I, so stuff I don't understand. Um, so it looks like we've got some instructions in here. So in this video, we're just going to be testing out the lube and seeing how it works on this uh, completely bare GTS2, as well as um, a, a puzzle that has already been, uh, already has some stock lube in it, which is the uh, this Go on Yushiao Pro that's completely stock um, besides just the stock lube I haven't done anything to it but here we go these are the instructions so the black lube inside this package is Lubical Black a core lube designed and produced by Cubicle Labs Lubical Black is specifically designed for metal to plastic contact lasts very long and makes the cube extremely quick even without any piece lube please note that Lubical Black can stain skin and other surfaces we included a Cubicle Premium <laughs> paper towel and a pair of Cubicle Premium gloves just in case you would like to use them. If some lube does get on your hands, you can use Lubical 1 to wash it off, also included. Water is unfortunately not very effective. To use, please lube each contact point shown in the two pictures below. After that, simply break in. Hope you enjoy. So, these are the two spots. So, let's go ahead and just try this out. So, uh, we'll go ahead and start with this uh, completely bare GTS 2. So, this puzzle has absolutely no lubricant in it, and as you can see, it's really, really bad. So I've already seen a couple of videos about this lubricant, so I know that it's going to speed it up a lot, uh, which is really interesting because um, I always thought that the core lube was just to prevent spring noise and and um, overall like help the the pieces last longer or something like that, and then the piece lube was what actually you know you know made it faster. But I guess the core the core lubricant has a big part in how fast it is. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to lay out this um, Cubicle Premium paper towel so I don't stain my table. And then of course we've got to wear the uh, Cubicle Premium gloves. Alright, so here we go. We are all ready to get going here. Um, so let's just go ahead and disassemble this. Let's get these center caps off as well. So the center caps are actually what um, what is uh, holds the center piece up. So when you take them off, the core actually gets um, pretty small, as you can see. All right, so now we can go ahead and take the lube out of here. So I think this little red nub is to put on the end of the green tip. Huh, this is interesting. As you can see, it looks like there's kind of like a bunch of water in there, and then the material, I wonder if you have to mix it up? Maybe if you shake it a little bit, huh. That's weird. Huh, I guess we'll just give it a shot either way. Let's go ahead and take this cap off. Alright, as you can see it's already getting on my fingers, so... Let's very carefully put on this tip. Alright. Well, let's give this a shot. Alright, so let's see if we can just squeeze a little bit on, onto the paper towel so... You can see what's going on here. Yeah, look at that, it's completely clear. Huh. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I guess we'll just have to give it a shot and see how it works out. Um, so let's just go ahead and put some in there. Right in there like that. And then the other spot we have to lubricate is underneath. So right in there. Alright, so there we go. Alright, and now I guess we will do that on every side. It seems like it's mixing together uh, fairly well now, so I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about it anymore, honestly. Uh, it seems like it's pretty much black now, like the actual lubricant coming out of it. And there we go. So it's a little bit messy, but that's alright. I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Alright. So, what we can do is kind of suck that back up in there a little bit, and then I think we can put this red tip over it, just like that. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna assemble this without any um, piece lube, 
So, let's go ahead and get these caps back on. Oh no, it's a little bit that's running out there. Hopefully I didn't put too much. All right, so we got the caps back on, so I think we're okay to take the gloves off now. Um, if we do get any Lubicol Black on our hands, I guess we can go ahead and test out the Lubicol one to see how well it comes off. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take these gloves off for now. All right, well, I think getting a little bit on your hands is just kind of inevitable. But let's just go ahead and assemble this. All right, so here we go. We got the cue ball assembled again. Um, Let's see how it moves. All right, so let's go ahead and go on with first turns after the puzzle has been uh, freshly lubricated. Wow, that, <laughs> that does make quite a huge difference. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys were all expecting this if you guys have watched other people's videos, but this feels like it's very hard to believe that this cube is actually completely dry and that there's no lubricant on the actual pieces because this feels like a fully lubricated GTS 2 like it feels really good yeah it's incredibly fast it's almost too fast like it it actually feels like it needs to be slowed down now um, which is quite incredible I would say that is a major success for Lubical Black already well already I'm completely blown away with the performance of this lubricant this is really really incredible and um, it basically turned a garbage cube into something that if I stickered right now um, I could use like as a speed cube like it literally needs no piece lube of course you're gonna want to add some or else you know dust and other grime will form inside um, so you definitely want to add piece lube but it's not even really needed at least at the very beginning which is really incredible. So that just kind of goes to show the importance of lubricating your core uh, outside of just getting the spring noise out. You really want to make sure that there is a smooth rotation with all of those internal parts in there. Uh, and so this lubricant is made specifically for metal to plastic contact, like the sheet said. So yeah, this is not going to work as well in the pieces. Plus you really don't want it running out and getting onto your hands. So. This is one of those things as well where you can just lube the core once and then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the cube's lifetime, uh, which is really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on a cube that um, already performs pretty well and see if it can make it like a whole lot better. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try it on this cube, the Gogon Yuishiao Pro, which is pretty nice, but it's a bit sluggish and uh, I've done a couple hundred solves with it and so far my biggest complaint is just the speed really. So if I can make this faster, that would be great. So we're going to go ahead and try Lubical Black on here. All right, so we've got our gloves back on again, so we are ready to rock and roll um, with this Lubical Black once again on this Yuishiao core. So we're going to take this tip off here very carefully so it doesn't get everywhere. All right, there we go. And let's go for it. So. Just squeezing some inside here. And I'm going to do that on all six faces first, and then I'm going to go ahead and put more lubricant underneath the screw. So find it easier to just kind of do it like this. Oh man, it's coming out really fast now. You got to be careful. It's kind of hard to control how fast this stuff comes out, honestly. All right, got one more side left here. Yeah, all right. Whoa, man. Maybe it's just because I'm behind the camera. I'm sure it would be like a hundred times easier to do this if I was not recording it. Um, but with what I'm doing right now, it's, oh, it's hard to kind of see what I'm doing and have a lot of control over it. So and I'm losing track now of which pieces I've lubricated and which ones I haven't. Um, I think this one needs some lube. All right, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. That's coming out too fast again. Okay, I would say we've got plenty in there. I'm making a huge mess now. Um, I think I might need to go and buy a new table after this, honestly. Um, let's see if we can just clean up our gloves a little bit. So we should be good now. I'm just going to kind of spin the core around a little bit on each of these faces. So gets nice and worked in. I'm hoping that I didn't over lube it. I, I definitely put quite a bit in there. I don't know if it's possible to over lube it with Lubical Black, uh, but yeah, hopefully I, I didn't put like way too much in there. So, all right, so let's just go ahead and assemble this. We don't need the gloves for this part. All 
All right, here we go. We have got all of we've got the puzzle back together. As you can see, it's the lubricant is smearing on the stickers a little bit, but it looks like it's not staining the sticker, so you can just wipe it off. Now, let's just go ahead and go with first turns. Okay, so not as big of a difference this time, but it's definitely noticeable. So yeah, for sure, there's an improvement. It's definitely faster, which is really, really great. So I'm going to go ahead and go and wipe this cube down and see if I can get my hands cleaned up as best as I can. And whatever lubricant I can't get off, I guess we'll have to get off with some Lubical 1. All right, so the cube is all cleaned up now and it's performing really well. It's really fast. It's really nice. Um, and once I clean out the stock lube and put in some D&M, um, then it should be really, really fast. The problem is now is that my hands are all stained and you can't really see it super well, but my desk is stained too. So we're going to go ahead and test out this Lubical 1 and see um, how well it gets off the Lubical Black because um, I washed my hands very well and nothing really changed in terms of how much of this stuff was still left on my on my hands so we're gonna go ahead and try Lubical 1 so I guess the idea is that the, the, the two chemicals that are used in these two lubricants are like opposites of each other so when they mix they kind of like cancel each other out or it's something like that so let's just see if this comes off when I um, kind of rub my hands with Lubical 1 so I guess we'll put some on here I don't know how much we're gonna need I'm using uh, quite a bit seems like but huh it does seem like it's coming off a bit let's go ahead and get some on this finger over here um, yeah, it seems like it comes off a little bit. It doesn't completely like just totally get rid of it, but it reduces the amount of it that's on there. So I can tell that it's like some of it has come off for sure. So yeah, after wiping down my hands with the paper towels, it seems like they're pretty much back to normal. What I want to see as well is if I can get it off of my table here, because since my table is kind of stained. So we're just going to kind of drop some like quite a bit of it actually onto just one part of this paper towel and see if it'll come out. Huh, okay, yeah, it actually, it kind of does come out, wow. Look at that, it actually works really well on the table. So you can see that it's there's a, a little, bit, uh, little bit of black residue that's starting to form on the paper towel. So that's really, really promising. Um, I was hoping this wouldn't like permanently stain my desk but it looks like it's not. It looks like it's just coming right out. Wow, well I am super, super impressed with this Lubical Black. Uh, it seems like it's doing a great job. And uh, yeah, this stuff is pretty awesome. Um, Kind of messy, but as long as you're safe and probably used a lot of paper towels, then you shouldn't have really any problems with it. This stuff has not been released yet, but it will be releasing hopefully pretty soon. And of course, I will update the description with the link once it comes out. But yeah, so it made this stock cube completely amazing, and it definitely helped speed up this um, Yu Xiao Pro. So yeah, I'm super impressed with this. I wanna put it in a whole bunch more cubes now, but that's about all, all of the time that I have for today's video in terms of uh, testing out this lubricant. Anyways, that is pretty much it for Lubical Black. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and thanks of course to the Cubicle for making this video possible. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like. Links to all of my social media pages, my Patreon, and my merch store are all linked down in the description below as always. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.